I'm sure you're wondering what space has to do with dinosaurs at this point. I've seen Elon Musk and SpaceX in the news a lot lately and got to thinking how I could actually tie that into dinosaurs, and there is a way they could help us see dinosaurs. Two words. Space travel. Now, buckle up because we're going to do some math and science stuff. Light travels at 186,000 miles per second. Hence the phrase, speed of light. And the light we want to see is tens to hundreds of millions of light years from Earth. That's the light from the era of the dinosaurs. So to see this light, you need two things. Number one, you need to be able to space travel faster than the speed of light. Because you have to get ahead of the light that was here 66 to 200 some odd million years ago. But you also need an impossibly powerful telescope with an incredible resolution to look back towards Earth with. Now, if you can overcome those two obstacles, you could actually see the dinosaurs right now. You could see any dinosaur you wanted by traveling far enough away from Earth. Now, in the chance you do make it that far, or we meet aliens, I've done you a solid and already plotted out where you need to be. First, a quick thank you to Andrew Colvin for making some incredible maps of our universe and just letting everybody use them with a simple acknowledgement. Thumbs up, my guy. So this is a shot of the universe, and we're right there in the middle, the Virgo supercluster in blue. Drop you a little Earth there to make it easy. Now, if you want to see some Triassic dinosaurs, you're going to have to go over 200 million light years from Earth. I mean, that's just an immense scale that we're dealing with here. And you're going to see that in a second on the next screen. For Triassic dinosaurs, like Coelophysis, Herrerasaurus, and Platyosaurus, you can go to the Perseus Pisces supercluster and the Pavo Indus supercluster. These are 222 and 235 million light years away. You can see them just above and below us here on Earth. That just gives you an idea of the scale. Now, a supercluster is a cluster of galaxies, so this isn't a planet or a place. This is just an enormous expanse of space. So it gives you actually a lot of variety if you want to see a specific dinosaur back in the Triassic period. Now, zipping over to a little smaller shot, this is the Lanakia Cluster. That's us there in the blue in the local group, kind of upper middle of the screen there. I'll drop you a planet there so that you can see where we are. Now, if you want to see some Jurassic dinosaurs, you can head to any of these places. You can see there's a lot now, and you can just get an idea of the scale of just how vast space is. All of this is pretty much contained in that tiny little blue cluster. Not all of it, a good portion of it though. You've got the Cancer Cluster is probably the furthest away that you could go at 200 million light years. But then you have Galaxy NGC 6753, that's Galaxy Cluster, at 150 million light years away. That's kind of the beginning and the end of the Jurassic. That's your Stegosaurus, Brachiosaurus, and Iguanodon. Now, since the Cretaceous is actually the closest, it's going to be the easiest to get to. In this case, easy is pretty relative. Now, you can hit the Antilla Cluster at 135 million light years away. That's going to be the early Cretaceous. Or if you want to see the late Cretaceous, you can head to the Virgo 3 Galactic Cluster. The Cretaceous is everybody's fan favorites. It's your Triceratops, your Edmontosaurus, and of course the Tyrannosaurus Rex. You can see these. Now remember, space is 3D, so these aren't necessarily, you know, the equidistant at the map there. They could be deeper or closer, but you can see the Virgo 3 upper right here. And so that's about as close as you can get to see the late Cretaceous, except if you want to see the very end if you want to watch those last minutes of the dinosaurs, find out the exact date and time the asteroid hit Earth, you can travel to the LEO-2 group supercluster. 
In that cluster, you can see from about 65 million years ago, which there were no dinosaurs 65 million years ago, back to 90 million light years. So you want to get around the 66 mark. There were dinosaurs. So somewhere between 65 and 66, you'll see the very end. Thank you for watching. Just wanted to give you a fun little thought-provoking idea. Next time you look up into the night sky, you're seeing light even older than the dinosaurs. Might even see this constellation. Just kidding. <laughs>